guys and welcome back to my YouTube. Right, if you like glitter, this is for you. You're gonna love this. I've made it easy. You're gonna have some fun with this. Now, there's a few tips that I've said from the beginning. Glitter gets everywhere, so make sure you're not doing it on your best mum's best white carpet because it will be all over the place. Um, don't do it on a floor that you don't want to find glitter later on because you will. So do it over table, uh, that's a nice little tip. Uh, number two, map out your shape. Because sometimes we get carried away with glitter because it's so fun, it's sparkly, and you know we're having a great time. Sometimes it will be all over the face and not really where you wanted it. Number three, watch to the end of the video because I give you a safe and easy and quick way to remove glitter. Number four, don't use your best brushes because glitter doesn't matter if you clean them because you will find glitter later on, maybe a month later, will come out of nowhere. So when you use your, these brushes, don't use them for anything else or don't use your best brushes because you will ruin them. And all I want to say is guys, have a good time. Please show me what you come up with. I'd love to see what you do. And don't forget to subscribe so you can be the first to see what new stuff I'm doing. Enjoy, have fun. If you need to tell me new things that you would like me to do, I'm happy to hear and maybe I'll do a video for you. So I will see you soon and have a fantastic Christmas because I'm gonna, Merry Christmas. This is Cassie and I'm gonna make a kind of a glitter queen. I'm gonna use this stick it's like a vaseline stick which has a slight bit of glycerin you can use multiple other things but this is what i just choose to use this is enables you to stick the glitter where you want it to go on the face now i'm using a flat brush an angled flat brush and then i'm kind of placing it on the top of the brush and then putting it straight down under the lashes not too close because we don't want it all flicking into the eyes because that's not going to be very nice and it will drop and that's good and you can see I'm using the same on the other eye and you can start to see I'm, I'm making like a slight shape here and again pressing it in where I want the glitter to be more intense now it will fall and that's good because it's kind of nice and sporadic I'm just patting it a bit more where I want it a bit more intense. You could actually just leave it like that if you wanted. Now I'm going to take like the Vaseline stick down a bit because I'm going to do kind of a triangle under the eye. Using like a bigger glitter because I think it's nice to use things that are all different sizes so you get some depth in it. And you know, you need a flat brush, something that's not too flexible, it needs to be quite sturdy and you place the glitter on it and then press it down onto the shape that you put on. And you can move it around slightly. When you feel you've got it in the right place, then kind of like pat it down, just to make it stay on. Stuff will fall though, and sometimes that will look good. Same thing, just kind of overload the brush with glitter and kind of place it where you want it to go. The droppage is good. So it's kind of organic. You can't really make mistakes with this. It's just fun. You could also use Vaseline. You could also use lip gloss. It might be a bit sticky though, uh, or gel glitter. And you know, just mark out your shape. And what I'm kind of doing now is just positioning, you know, the glitter, big glitter bits where I want my shape to be. So that looks nice already. Now, because I like to be a perfectionist, I'm going to add a different size glitter. I'm just going to mark in the holes that I feel like I could fill. And it's quite nice with all the different sizes because it gives you a bit of depth and it will hit the light in different ways. And this is like a hieroglyphic glitter, so it's blue and pearls. And I'm taking it up onto the cheekbone because I know it's going to reflect really well. And then you can really start to map out your shape. I'm taking it up a little bit higher. So, you know, you can go back in with even like a little lip balm. You could put it as long as it's not too greasy, because if it gets too greasy, it's going to be messy 
and it will go everywhere and the glitter won't stick as well and it will move around too much so try and keep something that's quite flat so maybe a lip gloss wouldn't be a good idea but a lip balm or I know there's lots of other things on the market that um, are glowy that you could just that are transparent that you could just map out your shape with so I'm just adding a little bit more in just different sizes just to emphasize the shape a bit more I want to take it a little bit up onto the cheekbone because I feel like when it picks up the light, sometimes you see it, sometimes you don't. And you know, you can flick it away with your nails. If you've got really long nails like Cardi B, they're really great for things like this. But there you have it, a really great shape. And you know, I like to intensify by the lash line and let it just kind of fall down like beautiful tears. Now, mascara, I'm only going to put it on the top lash because I kind of really want, just want to define the eyes and it's all about the underneath. So it's just a bit of definition. Keep it bare on the top, don't overload because it starts to look a little bit like too much. Because I want it to be all about the eyes, I'm gonna mute down the lips with just like a, a nudie lip gloss. And you can just press it with a bit of tape just to define your shape. Now, I've taken her hair down now, and I think it's a really cool look. Really good for with a party hat. Now, if you're one of these people like me, on Christmas Day, you want a bit of glitter, a little bit of glam. If you haven't got a sparkly top or something like that, this is always quite nice. Be great in photos, little selfies, always fun. And if you go out on Christmas night, which you may do, um, go and see other people, it will last all day. And you look amazing. I use magic tape. It's not like cellar tape. It's not so sticky. You need to press it on to places where you want to take it off, like you see there, and then pull it away. It will remove some, so you have to keep on going over it. So do not use cellar tape. It's too harsh. But you're going to need to do this to get it off because glitter gets everywhere. For a quick way to shop all these products used in this video, visit Shop My Shelf. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.